So it's been a minute, so welcome back to my channel, guys. It's been a really long time, um, big life changes. Moved back from DC to New York, we bought a house. Um, Evan's gonna start his new job very soon. Um, anyway, really good things, but it's been so long since I popped on here and I've decided to come back and share some really transformative things I learned from an online program that I took that is available for you to take. So this past week on Instagram, I decided to share four big topics that I took home from a mindful awareness training program. But um, I wanted one place to kind of cohesively put it all so I could refer back to it for myself as well as provide an easy link for anybody who is interested to learn what the program's more about. So to back up a bit, when the pandemic hit, we're in 2020 right now, and we were all quarantined, I started to feel myself in need of some structure. It's strange, I already worked from home, but for whatever reason, I just felt like I couldn't get it together. There was anxiety. I was just kind of fumbling all over the place. And so I found myself in need of just grounding practices. I was turning to my old spiritual books, um, podcasts, looking for the people that really have ancient wisdom in times of uncertainty. And so I found my way back to Tara Brock and Jack Cornfield, two people who were providing words of wisdom relevant to what was going on in the world. Um, when I saw that they had an online mindful awareness training, I just knew that I had to take it. So a little bit about this program. It is a seven week program. In each lesson, it's either taught by Jack or Tara and they teach about a concept and then there's the ability to bring it to life by way of meditation. What I loved a lot about the course is that every single day of the week, pretty much, there's a chance to meet with the community. So people all over the world, hundreds of people are taking this program and you can jump on a Zoom once or twice a day and connect with them, ask questions or just listen. So in this video specifically, I just wanna share the four take home points I shared on Instagram. Um, there was so much more that I learned and it also requires the context of the course to I think really implement these really big changes and concepts. But I think that even if you don't do the course, you can take away a little bit of something. Best of all, what I liked about this course was um, how much I was getting from it as well as how quickly I felt it seeping into my brain and changing my neural connections immediately. So new pathways were being created within one day of taking the course. And all right, let's jump into the top four things that I learned. The first thing I learned is I became aware of something called the negativity bias. And the negativity bias refers to something we as humans do where we remember the negative things that happen and we kind of fixate on them. So we have over 60,000 thoughts a day. That's a very big number, and but 98% of them are actually the same thoughts that we had yesterday. So that means that we ruminate a lot in the same thought patterns. And while our thoughts are real, they're not always true. And that's because they're based off of our memory, which is faulty. And our minds are conditioned to remember the bad to protect us from danger in the past. But what it looks like in modern life is a boss yelling at us, dropping a glass on the floor, forgetting to do something. But one piece of bad news in the midst of 100 pieces of good news, um, and somehow we remember the bad and we stick to that, we fuse to it. So how we can move away from this after we become aware of it looks like choosing joy and savoring good moments. And this is a practice and art. And one of the best ways that I've learned to combat that negativity bias myself is to literally steep in the good moments, turn towards them, hug my humans a little bit harder, um, more time in nature, allow the meaning of your kind messages that you write me on Instagram or in my DMs or here to fill my body, to sit with the good things, to, to write in my gratitude journal. Second thing that I learned is how to resource and when to use resources, resourcing. So resourcing is using your self-soothing skills when you need them the most. To do so, we first need to get clear on what are our resources. That way, when an event happens that angers us or causes us to spiral, we know exactly what to do in order to return to a safe place. But on the contrary, what happens is when we enter a, an explosive situation or an event happens, it feels too serious to give it space. So we rush into saying things or doing things, we react, and usually we make it worse. But if we could recognize the reaction 
and then see that as a time to resource, to self-soothe, to get to safe land, we've effectively made space. And in that space, we calm down, we return to rational mind, and we have clarity and a much better ability on how we should handle it. For me, resourcing looks like time offline, nature, my feet planted on the earth, legs go up against the wall, I'm hugging myself. And the most important thing with resourcing is really to remember to remember in that moment when you really think the last thing you need to do is resource. Third thing I learned is how to avoid something called emotional stuffing. So before we even get to what emotional stuffing is, we first have to understand that all emotions belong. We need to make space for all our big, scary range of emotions, even the ugliest of emotions. Emotional stuffing stems from a fear that certain emotions are bad and that therefore they don't belong. That if we allowed ourselves to feel those feelings, they'd disrupt our life and they'd cause more problems. And we think that if we let ourselves go there to experience what's really there, we won't be able to recover from it and will cause even bigger problems and a mess in our life. So instead, we avoid the feelings, anger, sadness, whatever we fear doesn't belong. We stuff it down, and because we're afraid to feel it, we don't actually feel it. It just kind of makes us buzz and anxious. But the truth is, it's actually okay to feel all emotions, including the heavy, scary ones like anger. And what actually happens and what they train you to do in this program is to become curious with it. Okay, this is anger. And when you allow it to surface, you realize, okay, this actually isn't as bad because I'm giving it space to breathe. And what even more interesting, you learn what's underneath, which is usually something very soft, like a fear of being rejected, a fear of not being loved, a desire to belong. And when that big emotion is kind of out there and underneath we see that soft one, a natural sense of self-compassion emerges. Suddenly, we're at ease in our body, even though that big emotion was just there with us. The fourth thing I learned is the importance of forgiveness. Um, forgiveness has been such a freedom tool for me in my life. I was reminded in this program that how important forgiving is when it comes to our own healing and um, relationship to trauma. But the key here is to recognize that when we forgive, whether we're forgiving ourselves or somebody else for hurting us, we do it for ourselves, okay? We forgive not for the other person, but for us. And when we forgive for ourselves, oftentimes it's without an apology and without the other person even knowing. So forgiveness does not mean that it's easy, that we forget, that the hurt wasn't real, um, or that it needs to happen overnight. But it means we're able to see how not forgiving has hardened us, has created a darkness, and has become our identity and not who we truly are. So it is a protective mechanism, holding a grudge or circling about all that was wrong to you. But when you begin to see that the shield you put up is now keeping the true you from coming out, that's when we know that we need to choose freedom and we need to give ourselves permission to forgive. Per Tara, this course is for anyone who struggles with anxiety, loss, feeling stuck, or has struggled with addiction, um, or for anyone who is just looking to find their way back home. For me, it just came at the perfect time um, and I couldn't be more thankful for that. Links to the course and a free training that they offer are gonna be left below. If this sounded like revolutionary to you like it was for me, I hope you give it a go. And if you do, please report back to me. It would be so fun to connect over it. I hope you guys have a great day. Be well.